Okay, this is just a new document, 8.5 by 11 at 300. And this is the finished piece, so the different um, screw heads that have the uh, drop shadow from a layer effect, when you see this actual effect I click off of, has that piece, has the textured background, and also has a gray background. So just a white surface to start off with. If I get a new layer that's transparent, then I have the elliptical tool to start off with. There's the shape of the section. Make sure it has the foreground to background. You're taking the gradient tool, and if you click the second item over, foreground to transparent in the gradient editor, see this section. So this is the inside. You want to have it, say, reverse. So it flips the gradient back to left and right. If you go right to the edge, it'll be black. If I extend it, it gets a little gray. Okay. Then get a new layer above it to make the slot. Here's the rectangle. As soon as I start, it'll make a new selection. Spacebar lets me move it around to get the center. And then taking a darker gray to fill it. Option delete is going to fill it, or you can go to edit and fill it from here. Foreground color is selected. Okay. And you want to trim these pieces off. So all you're going to do is take the thumbnail and click on this selection. Select inverse it. Keystroke right there. And then just hit delete. Now you have that selection. Deselect it. And here you go with the inner shadow. So the inner shadow is clicked on here. I can increase this just to show this piece. the distance of it, the overall piece coming from there, so that gives you that shadow. Okay, so these two are selected. Before I merge them down, I'm going to duplicate them, hide the copy, merge these two, command E, merge layers, so now I have that selection. To change, if you guys are changing the color, it's image adjust, hue saturation, this gives you the color again, makes your color eyes just highlighted. Gives you a little bit of a desaturated color in there. Click OK. Okay. And free transform, you can rotate it so it keeps that section. Click OK. Double click to get a drop shadow. Drop shadow, place it on here. Take off the global lighting. Click OK. Again, here's the background, so seeing the space, here's a rectangular tool, giving you a color, filter noise, add the noise, gives you some texture, filter blur will give you a motion blur, okay, and then if I double click this will give me the bevel and emboss section, depending on the size of it, in the bevels where it's highlighted at. Click OK. And now I can auto-select just to reduce this down. Place that there. Option over here. Take this one. Selection. You could go in and change some of the shadows in there. Go to the background layer, get a new layer. Option delete. Gradient. You can change some of that if you want to. Right there it is. Let's see if I can get this going here. So that part. Straighten it off here. And then 
and there you have it, sir. And that you can save that so you can kind of see that section there. Oof. It's wobbly there. So, but if you can see it without the blur, that's the uh, action motion animation that you can't get too, too quickly. You might like that.